this is Herbalist Natalie, and we are here today to make something else fun from our latest aroma box, the February aroma box. So last time we made a muscle gel that was relaxing, and today, since we have the amazing Copaiba in February's box, I thought that we could make a pain relieving jelly that's not necessarily for muscles, but just for pain in general. So today we're going to use our aloe jelly and you'll see uh, in a lot of the videos, I prefer to use jellies to oils because they absorb faster. But if you didn't want to use that, then I would suggest uh, a carrier oil of some kind like fractionated coconut oil, or you could use jojoba oil, um, almond oil, whatever it is that you'd like, especially if you plan on using this in a massage setting. If you do plan on using this in a massage, then I would definitely suggest using less of the essential oils that we're gonna be doing today since this is more for spot treating. So today we're gonna to take our aloe jelly and we're gonna do again one ounce just cause that seems to be something easy that we can all do. I'm gonna squirt that in there. We have about one ounce there, so 30 mil. I'll move these over, all right. And so our first ingredient is going to be copaiba. Copaiba, and actually all of these essential oils that we're using today, are high in a component called beta caryophylline. And this is a fantastic anti-inflammatory and also can make you happy by releasing beta endorphins when you put it on your skin. So I like this um, combination here. It works really well. I had some thumb pain earlier and no problems now. So I feel like it works very quickly especially when it's in a jelly because the jelly will take it in much faster. So here we go. We're going to start with 15 drops of Copaiba. And again, you can find this in your February aroma box. One, two, three, uh -oh. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Oh, I think we may have gotten a little extra one in there. That's okay. And you'll notice that the viscosity is much thicker than some of the other oils we'll use today. So this one I was actually able to turn upside down, whereas pretty much the rest of them won't be able to do that. So next we're gonna have black pepper, and we're gonna have eight drops of black pepper in here. Black pepper can cause some sensitization on the skin. So if you have very sensitive skin, you may wanna use a little bit less of this, but the nice thing about black pepper is it's very warming. Uh, sorry, we had a bunch of motorcycles just go by, but <laughs> black pepper is warming. So that's why I like to have it in this blend. So it kind of brings blood flow to that area and warms things up. This is gonna come out quickly, so we're gonna go pretty slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. And then next on our list over here, we have Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang is also going to make the smell nice, but it's a wonderful essential oil for pain uh, and a variety of other things, but we're using it specifically for pain in this box. And we're gonna just do five drops. One, two, three, four, five. So, and again, you'll notice, don't put the bottle completely upside down or it comes out in a stream. All right, and then the last one, we're only gonna add one drop of clove. I don't like to use too much clove because it gives kind of a numbing, actually it gives a great numbing sensation. Um, and this formula is more for warming. So we're gonna be using this just for its warming aspect. So we're just gonna put one drop in there. And this one we have to be really careful with because it's really thin. Here it comes. All right, just that one magical drop. All right, then we're gonna mix it up. And remember your jellies can become cloudy and um, a little bit more runny or thicker, and that's completely normal. So just keep working with it until you get everything all nicely blended up. Since we don't have turmeric in this one, we don't have to worry about staining anything. So let's see how our blend smells. You can see it's definitely very milky looking. And I always make sure you use clean utensils um, I like glass, so we have a glass stirring rod and a glass measuring um, container because they're very easy to sterilize and clean. If you use plastic, the essential oil is going to permeate it and you'll never be able to get that scent out. So we just want to stick with glass or stainless steel, something like that. All right, so here's our blend. 
And I'm just going to put a little bit on to see, make sure we're not sensitive to anything in there. Mmm, it smells wonderful. I think that's my nose. Okay. And so with jellies, the nice thing is if you are in pain, you don't have to rub. It goes in really fast. That's all, and it's already soaked in. So I like this blend a lot for any kind of pain. I do a lot of computer work, and so sometimes my thumbs and my pinkies get sore from the space bar and shift. So I like to rub that in my hands at the end of the day. Or um, you could use it for knee pain or any kind of joint pain, any kind of discomfort, even a headache. You could massage it into the back of the neck and uh, anything that you think you might need. So I hope you enjoy and don't forget to like our YouTube page and subscribe below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.